okay now now we shall develop another uh, error correction model and where the education rate would be the dependent variable so that is our new task so I go to quick estimate var and as I told this time education would be the dependent variable followed by other two variables so I am writing accordingly so you can see here are three variables education so last time here I put GDP last time but this time I am putting education here why because uh, uh, because uh, I want to check whether GDP can cause education or not that we want to check so that is why I put education first and that is why I can develop an error correction model where education would be the dependent variable and you see here uh, here you can see the data is at level but when I run the VECA model the data will convert to first difference automatically so actually VECM always doing so VECM VECM model uh, in the E view they always convert the variable into one difference one difference they always do it suppose here is education this education will become D education after estimation this GDP will become D GDP that means first difference of GDP and this investment will become D investment after estimating this vector error correction model and here I choose vector error correction right and and lag is to as, uh, uh, as before and I check the co-integration yes it is one because according to the Johansson testing there is one co-integrated equation so I put here one and 3 is unchanged right it is as it is so so now it is my model we can run the model the error correction model in the VECM environment error correction model in the VECM environment okay then I proceed Okay, this is our estimation of the vector error correction model and here education become dependent variable and this one is the co-integrating equation and from this co-integrating co equation we shall be taking the residual and that residual would be error correction term meaning that this one the residual from here would be error correction term which is also called co-integrated equation 1 right and here this one is the coefficient this one is the uh, standard error 
and this one is the t value coefficient divided by standard error you can get the t value so here are the model right here are the v is cm model and you can see that d the education has converted to d education right you can see from here gdp last time i put gdp that has converted to d gdp automatically okay but here is no p value but the but the t value is all right there from the t value we also can take decision this is t value from the t value also we can take the decision but better to take the p value right because here is three model three model so the it is dependent of the education it is the dependent of gdp and these are all independent and for this model actually we shall be taking only this one right where education is the dependent variable okay here we are, we, are, we want to know the p value so so how to know the p value i go to proc then max system order by variable i choose this one so this is actually this is the system equation for the three model education gdp and investment you see the system equation start from c1 and it ends at c24 right that means here are 24 equation sorry 24 coefficient in the whole system equation model okay what i do i choose the first one right where the education is the dependent variable and this one is the error correction model i copy as before and i go to quick then estimate equation as before then here i can paste it i can paste the whole error correction model so this is our model right and and here uh, we shall be using the OLS method to estimate this error correction model so I press OK so this is my outcome you can see from here education is the dependent variable you can see from here right and c1 is the coefficient of of the co-integrated uh, uh, co-integrated e equation so it is the until this co-integrated equation and c1 is the coefficient right c1 is the coefficient of the error correction term which is this one this c1 means this c1 same thing right oh sorry sorry it has gone okay i am taking it back okay i make it big and c8 means this one c7 means this one right c6 means this one right okay now we are, now we can check c1 which is a error correction term it has a negative sign 
so the so that one is a good information but it is significant at 10% level because the p value is 7.25% meaning that it is not significant at 5% level it is significant at 10% level suppose we accept the 10% level so in that case we can say that all the value uh, we can we can say that that there is a validity of the long run association ship among all the variables why because the sign is negative and it is significant at 10% level we we assume that 10% level is all right okay then we talk about whether gdp can cause education and also we want to check whether investment cause education in the short run that means short run causality that we want to check from here how to check we shall be using the world statistics w a l d statistics okay first i check one by one first i check whether gdp uh, okay first i check whether investment can cause education that means c6 and c7 right c6 and c7 how to check i go to view coefficient diagnostic and i choose wall test so i write c6 equal to c7 equal to 0 so they are joint they are jointly zero it is the null hypothesis and 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 if the null hypothesis is all right meaning that meaning that uh, uh, if the null hypothesis is all right meaning that investment cannot cause education right so that would be our decision okay we proceed and check what happens okay we got the wall test the chi square value 71.81 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that we cannot reject c6 c7 equal to 0 meaning that c6 and c7 jointly 0 meaning that investment cannot cause the education education rate in the short run that means there is no causality coming from uh, in investment to education rate okay now we check the second step whether the GDP causes education rate or not that we want to check now so where is our model it is our model and where is the GDP C4 and C5 right so I check it so I go to view coefficient diagnostic wall test so C4 and C5 okay it is the null hypothesis that is C4 C5 0 and and we want to check it using wall test right 
I click OK. So this is the outcome wall test, chi square, and the p value. What is p value? Less than 5%. So we can reject our null hypothesis that is C4 and C5 is not zero, meaning that GDP can cause uh, education rate in Maria land because we can reject null hypothesis. That means C4 and C5 is not zero. There is some value. So meaning that, uh, meaning that our model, this is our model, right? Our model GDP jointly can cause education, education rate. Okay, now, uh, now actually, what is our hypothesis? Last time I showed you, the hypothesis is that, that I showed last time, that is investment causes GDP and GDP causes education rate. Yes, this hypothesis has been fulfilled. This hypothesis is correct because at the first time GDP causes, uh, sorry, uh, uh, in the previous model, in the previous model, our variable uh, investment caused causes GDP and in this model GDP causes education rate meaning that investment can cause edu education rate eventually that means uh, through the channel of GDP that means investment cause education rate through GDP. So it is the channel investment GDP GDP to education rate. So it is the channel. That means investment causes education rate through GDP. So what is the channel? GDP is the channel. Right. So that is the decision of this transmission channel in VECM model. Thank you very much.